We're now going to get into the custom function menus. This is the first one of them. Number one, I'm going to press the menu button. And when we use our small button over here, the, the multipoint controller, we go to this icon. All of them are under this icon, sort of orange in color. And the first one is custom function one, the function one set, which is exposure. And to get into them, we're going to hit the set button. Now you'll notice along the bottom left, let's go ahead and take a look. Now remember, we're going to be adjusting using the rotary wheel, selecting options here. Um, this is the multipoint control. I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this the big rotary wheel here. So we can see what we're doing. Now, for me to get from each one of the selections in this custom function one exposure group, I'm going to rotate the large rotary control wheel. It goes to each one. But then I'm going to get into that one for control by pressing the set button. And you'll see right now we can move between the two or more selections in that, that item. And when we decide we want it, we're going to hit that set button. So the first one is exposure level increments. And what this is is how fine of an increment you're going to have when you're adjusting the uh, the metering in the camera. Say you're in manual mode or AV or TV and you're moving your, your control dials. This will actually give you a finer or coarser stop. If you want a half a stop or really fine adjustment and f-stops and such, you can go to this. If you want the more traditional third of a stop, you can leave it on the default here for zero. That's where I'm going to leave it. Go to two. Now you see, when we increment with the big rotary wheel, it says on the bottom left we're in number two and it goes on the top right we're in number two. I'm going to hit the set button to get into this and this is ISO speed setting increments. Basically it's also the finer or coarser movement of the ISO sensitivity of the camera. So the traditional is one-third stop. If you want to go to, to, to one stop here for larger increments, you can do that. So you just pick the one you like and that's, that's personal preference. We're going to leave it at the traditional one-third stop. Number three in our hit parade here of exposure on the uh, first custom function menu of exposure controls is ISO expansion. This is set to off. This means that the camera will only go up to 3200 ISO. It will not go up to 6400 and 12800. If you'd like to experiment with the ultra high ISO settings, go to go ahead and hit your set button, move the big rotary wheel on the back and then hit the set button again. I don't see any reason not to let you have the option to get up and use those. May as well. Let's go to number 4, bracketing auto cancel. Again, hit the set button to get into controlling it. It's only on or off. This means that if you set your uh, exposure bracketing or white balance bracketing, you're doing those triple shots and, and, and uh, experimenting with that. Well, when you would turn the camera off, that would automatically cancel those bracketing settings. If you'd like it to remain on when you turn the camera off and turn it back on and you're still in bracketing mode with your previous settings, leave this on. If you want to, you know, if you'd like it to cancel, then you, you can change it. But it's personal preference again, but uh, I probably wouldn't want um, the camera to remain in bracketing once I had turned it off and bring it back on, so the default is on on that. Number five over here is bracketing sequence. Now the standard bracketing sequence zero means correct exposure under and over. If you would prefer to have it under correct over as the three shots are taken, well you can, you can certainly change it to that. Remember it's hit the set button, move the rotary control to your selection, hit the set button. Default though is correct under over and that's you know your choice. Next is safety shift, enable disable. Now this is only in the TV and AV modes. If the lighting changes drastically at the last moment, if you have this enabled, it will allow the camera to all of a sudden shift the exposure to make it come out correct. So it's uh, go out there and you know when you're using these modes experiment. If you find that all of a sudden you have a rapidly changing light situation, you can always enable this. I would leave it enabled. So zero is the uh, disables the default, but I'd go, I'd move it to one and leave it there. Last on the custom function one exposure submenu is flash sync speed in AV mode. In your aperture priority mode here, the default is auto, and that means that the camera is allowed to t select what it wants as a shutter speed. We call that the sync speed uh, for your flash, and these things work together because um, in flash mode it's very different as far as the way that the camera exposes, and if you're at a low uh, shutter speed, say 1 60th or below, which might happen, you could have a, a more blurry picture if you have a lot of ambient light mixed in. If you're going just with very dark situations and you can hold the camera fairly steady, the exposure of the camera is actually determined by the duration of the flash blitz itself. So it's not as cri critical as if you have some mixed light with the flash, which often happens. Usually you're not in pitch black. So 
auto will take care of most of your things, but if you were wanting to say, I'd like to limit the auto to between 1 60th and 2 50th to, to limit camera shake in case I'm, I'm really, you know, uh, not that stable or I want to just be sure I don't go under that, you can go to the number one selection. And if you want to fix it at 1 2 50th to make sure that you're uh, not going to have any blur and or you're say using a telephoto lens which is going to give you more shake to begin with, you'd want to go up to the second selection. Auto is the default and that's where we're going to leave it for today. So there's all the selections, custom function one, exposure subgroup.